Folks, it's that time of year where you're looking at buying new tractors and new tractor accessories. Yeah, we all get excited about springtime, don't we? I get a lot of questions this time of year about the different models of heavy hitch. Now, if you've watched this program very much at all, you've seen that we have a heavy hitch on the tractor here almost all the time. The only time we don't have a heavy hitch on is when we're using some other rear attachment. And even some of our rear attachments work with the heavy hitch. But one thing that's kind of hard to show on the tractor is the differences between the various heavy hitches. Heavy Hitch has been very kind to let us use all the different models and kind of provide some feedback, not only to Heavy Hitch themselves, but to you, our viewers, as to which ones we liked and, and why you might choose a particular Heavy Hitch for a given situation. There are four models of Heavy Hitch. I have three of them here. There's a fourth one that doesn't have a weight bracket on it at all. I don't recommend that hitch. I think if you're going to get a heavy hitch, you should get one that can be heavy. Now, even among these three that we have, this one right here has two different options that we want to consider. One's called a standard duty and one called a super duty. And the super duty is built with heavier steel here in the receiver. And that's what you need if you want to do any attachments, ground engaging attachments like the toolbar, the disc killers, things like that that we use on our heavy hitch. The minimum I would suggest here is the Super Duty version of the standard heavy hitch. You can tell the difference between these hitches by looking at them here a lot easier than you can on the website actually. The Super Duty hitch here can hold eight 42 pound weights. If you'll notice the bar here is right in the center and it's lower than these others. So that limits you to the 42 pound weights. This is the way the original heavy hitch was designed. It's great for a subcompact tractor, say a BX tractor or a Deer 1 series, you know, the Massey GC1700 series, uh, those types of tractors. And yeah, the Coyote. That's right, Kurt, especially for you. Remember, all of these heavy hitches are available in several different colors, orange, green, and black. So while it looks quite green here, you can get one to match your orange tractor, either your Coyote or your Kubota. And so, you know, don't hesitate to order the color you want. And just because you see green here, don't really get to thinking that this is a Deer Sentry type product. It's not at all. It'll fit all compact tractors with or without a quick hitch. And we'll show you that in a minute. That's the Super Duty. Now we're going to talk about the offset hitch. Notice that the offset hitch is taller. The bar is taller here to hold the weights, and the way it gets the name offset is that the weight bracket is offset to one side. See on the Super Duty, it's right here in the middle. On the offset, it's offset to the rear. Okay, this, I've got these setting up such that the tractor side is on my side for each one of these. This allows the 70 pound weights to work as well. So you can use either 70 pound weights. Kubota's got a 55 pound weight or the Deer 42 pound weight on this, eight of them. At the top end of the heavy hitch category one series is the double bracket. This heavy hitch has a bracket that's way up high and offset even more than the offset hitch on the back side here. You can put 70 pound weights back here, no problem. You can put 42 pound weights on the front. It's low like the original, so you really can't put 70 pound ones on that. This one allows you the most weight possible of any heavy hitch. Now it's also heavier just on its own, okay? So it's, uh, it's the heaviest weight hitch currently made. I should take just a moment to talk about the quick hitch compatibility, not only of the heavy hitch, uh, but of most category one three-point hitch implements and most quick hitches. Usually this is a typical category one size pin on the lift arm. In order to make it work on most quick hitches, you have to have these bushings. The way these bushings work, you slide them right on there and there's a roll pin that you insert in there and you have to hammer that in and it will stay tight. Here's an example of one that's, that's in and permanently fixed. There are a few quick hitches that don't require these bushings. The two that I can think of are the Land Pride QH05 and QH10. I got a web post about quick hitches, the various models, pluses and minuses of each one on our website, tractortimewithtim.com. We'll put a link to that in the description. 
And I think that'll be very helpful to you. If you do not have a quick hitch, you need one. I thought it would be useful to show you the heavy hitch on the tractor with a single weight. We'll move this weight around and show you what it looks like in different areas on the hitch. You can see here that the weight is either really close to this bottom beam or sometimes resting on that beam. Again, we can put four weights on this side, four weights on this side. These are the 42 pound weights that heavy hitch cells. So now you can get your heavy hitch and make it heavy from heavyhitch.com. I find this a very effective approach to go. The shipping charges on these weights from heavyhitch.com, top notch. You're gonna get a good value on this shipping and save a lot over the standard John Deere weights. Now just for the fun of it, let's see what a 70 pound weight would look like on this particular heavy hitch. I suppose it will technically fit, but it doesn't go all the way down, right? And it's precarious, to say the least. It's uh, not very good. It's resting right down there. It'll scratch that up really bad. And overall, this just won't work. This is not a good solution. Now, while I'm talking about scratching up, you can see that there's a few scratches on this hitch. This hitch is the original one I've had, and I've had it for a couple of years now. I've used this hitch really hard. I see one little scratch over here where I've hooked something with a chain on it, and a few scratches up here where the weights have set. I'm very impressed with the powder coating that Heavy Hitch does on their product. It stays on. I mean, I, I beat these up. I don't treat them easily. You've seen, you've seen how I treat these on the channel, and this powder coated paint just it sticks right there. So the, the weight fits nicely all the way across. You have to mount the weights to the back, at least with this quick hitch. Uh, without a quick hitch, you might be able to mount them on the inside to save a little more space. But I don't know that it's really going to help you. You've got the two inch receiver sticking out anyway. And I actually like to have the weights back here like this to give you a little bit more leverage, a little bit more effective ballast by having it further away from the rear axle. One of the advantages of a heavy hitch over a standard ballast box is its physical size. It doesn't stick back in the way where you might hit something with it and it's not low to the ground. Ballast box gets really low to the ground, can make it really difficult to go through a, a, a steep ravine or sometimes to load on a trailer or something like that. The heavy hitch is very compact, sits right in here behind your quick hitch and it looks like it was made for the tractor. Okay, next up is the offset hitch. Notice the bar is back a little further, it's not in the middle. It can handle either the 42 pound weights or the 70 pound weight. We'll start with the 70. So here's the weight next to the middle. Here it is next to the outside. It's not in the way of the quick hitch. A very nice solution. It doesn't come close to hitting down here. Here's the 42 pound. Again, just as good a solution as the Super Duty, only more flexibility. If you haven't figured it out yet, this one's actually my favorite. For the subcompact tractors, this gives you the ultimate versatility. I cannot imagine needing more than eight 70 pound weights on the back. Quite frankly, if you need more than eight 70 pound weights on the back of your subcompact tractor, you probably should tackle a different project or tackle this project with a different tractor. If you have a subcompact tractor, you already know this, but every inch of space around this tractor is used by something. There really isn't a lot of spare space for anything. And that same situation is true here with the double bar quick hitch. You'll see here I've got one 42 pound weight on the inside. I find it very difficult to get these weights in here and get them on. Okay, So it would be easiest to have these weights on before you pick up your heavy hitch. With the Harbor Freight El Cheapo Chinese quick hitch, you can't get this weight all the way to the side. And that means you can't get eight weights in here. You can't get four on each side. So six is basically all you can get inside here. Even if you can get them on the quick hitch, when we lower it, it comes very close and might even rub on the arms depending on you know, how the swing is. Because the arms are short, they're small, again, subcompact size. There's no problem with the rear bracket. 
you got plenty of room with the rear brackets. You can put the 70 pounds, they don't come close to hitting the other weights. You can come back to the side. This is like an offset bracket back here, only it's even exaggerated more than the offset hitch that we've talked about before. If you've got the iMatch hitch that's square in here and real narrow, then you could get all eight weights on it in the front row, as well as eight weights in the back row. Would work really well then. The thing is, with a subcompact tractor, there's hardly enough space to make it happen, and there's really no need for that much weight on the tractor. If you have a large frame 2 series or say a B series Kubota, in fact even with a 3 series with the 70 pound weights on the back, 42's in the front, I believe you could get by with this weight bracket for most of your needs and still have a much more compact solution than the ballast box. If you've got a 1 series, my recommendation is this offset bracket. I think you're going to be thrilled with the offset bracket because you have the ultimate flexibility. You can buy all 42 pound weights. Let's say you're getting a little older like me and 70 pounds looks like a lot. Well, get 42 pound weights. But if you feel like you need a little extra weight, you could get say a couple 70 pound weights put in the middle, right? And then put 42s on the end or you can get all 70 pound weights. You got that flexibility. Remember you can get weights and brackets and all other heavy hitch merchandise, 5% off with coupon code TTWT. I love this product. I've had all three products, I've used them all in multiple situations. You've seen the videos, if you haven't, go back and take a look. I know you'll love this product. I hope this has been a, a helpful view of the differences in these hitches. If you don't feel like you got exactly the angle you needed to see or you have any more questions about which hits you think would be best for your tractor, leave them in the comments section below. We'll do what we can to answer those. It may be like tiller rule number one. No matter which one you get, you'll be happy with it. Um, but my recommendation for the subcompact owners is the offset hitch. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Subscribe, leave a comment. Hey, go to our website, tractortimewithtim.com. We've got a write-up on all the heavy hitch models. Again, we've got the write-up on the quick hitches and all the different choices you have there with some recommendations as well. And a whole bunch of other ramblings from Tim and Catrill and from Christy. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.